guys so we're going to be talking about the uh, conditions the conditions i'm talking about condition so in js like quite every other programming language we have our if the if statement the the if s and the if else if else okay so these are some of the conditions we have in almost every programming language okay like in python they use this l if l if okay instead of and that l if is way more like your else if is the same as your else if rather okay so before you start this is the the sentence for that if condition if condition okay so your statement should be here uh, oh my statement is not correct your statement should be here okay so this is the if condition this one is just one way if one way if so the condition here you, you can see there as well more like your your words your arguments okay so let's take a look at something we're going to be using this guy okay? let's say let uh page equal to 12 okay remember this one is to assign this one is to compare this one is to compare this one is to compare rather okay so let's see if this how you work the condition is going to take your age if age is equal to 12 is age equal to 12 if equal to 12 so simply log something to the screen okay say or oh, let's use 18 18 if the person is up to 18 okay say this user can drive okay when the child is up to 18 the child should be able to drive all right let's see what did it show us oh let's comment this guy out okay sorry for the inconvenience let's see this user can drive okay let's see let's see this is i can drive this one is still assigning okay it's assigning don't be carried away with that it's assigning okay and this one still checks i think this one should still work yeah this is i can drive so can you either use this story or we use it too all right the most programming language they uses this too okay so we might be using the three and the two interchangeably okay so this is that can drive so this is this if okay let's say if the person is not up to 18 i remember i told you guys the not equal sign right so just if if age is not equal to 18 is the age equal to 18 yes the person can drive if it's not equal to 18 this user yes this user can't oh put this guy here this user can't drive okay if the person is not up to 18 this is not going to show us anything yes because the user is above 18 okay let's change this 18 to 17 okay let's change the 17 the age this user can't drive person below 18 can't drive okay so that's what the program is talking about now talking about our if statement so i about want to check if the user can drive we can invert our s okay our s let's see the problem is still going to show this user can't drive because the the person is what is not up to it however if the person is uh if 18 18 the user can drive all right there's an error with this our program for now because i have, if i put something like uh 19 let's say this person is 19 okay that means if 19 if 19 not equal to 18 that means the person cannot see that means somebody uh that is 19 years old cannot drive the person at 18 can drive why so the program something is wrong with it all you have to do is to come to this place say if age is greater than or equal to your equality sign okay let's see now so from 18 upwards they can drive let's see oh if oh shit. let's put this let's exchange them okay let's see this is i can drive okay when the person is from 18 upwards the person can drive if the person is less than 18 let's say 17 the person can't drive the person can't drive 
right so this is it this is it so b is it so this and is our what our if and s statement our if and s statement all right this is our if and s statement so you can see so the next one we're going to be working with now is what uh, our if else if and s okay so let's see if the person you invite it here as if okay as if age equal to 18 okay let's say this user let's change this and this cannot still drive okay let's see mm, 17 let's see this user cannot still drive all right because if the user is 17 years look at it very well this person's age is what 17 17 17 is showing he actually the how the if how the if block work is that you check for the first statement uh, sorry for the first condition if the first condition is met it executes it if it's not met you move to the next block you check the next block you check the other block which all the condition is met if the condition is not met then you cannot throw your s okay you you you, you cannot throw your s okay so but every other thing work within this if and s if and s this one is to check like this one is two-way conditioning okay we check the first we check the second okay the second now this is a okay by the second is not here then the first will execute let's see the, the, the s we execute let's see the s we execute can you see now so thank you guys for watching in the next video we're going to be talking about our switch switch statement or switch statement but before we talk about the switch statement so let's just try and write a program to check if a number is even or odd number okay using our operator so let's say number to check this is number we're going to be checking we'll check 17 okay take it out and check 17 if 17 is an even number or odd number so if number to check uh, percent 2 is equal to 0 when the remainder is 0 okay you can log that the number 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 to check out number number to check yeah number to check don't forget to concatenate like to to bring two things together is an even number okay i'll be like s s let's copy this guy paste it here number to check is an odd odd number so let's see 170 is what an odd number so let's run the code 17 is an odd number i have the number is 10 no 10 is what's an even number or oh, let's use 8 because sometimes i'll be a bit confused let's use 8 okay what this one says is that 8 divide by 2 or well, if the remainder is 0 that means it's an even number so let's go it's an even number okay so thank you guys for watching please do not forget to subscribe and try to share with friends